What's up YouTube, how you guys doing? I hope you're all having an amazing day. This is Lucas with another video. And to be honest, when I woke up this morning, I was not in the mood. It was a cold day here in South Florida. I know maybe you're from up north and you think I'm silly, but it's like 55 degrees right now. That's pretty cold. Like I said, when I woke up, I wasn't feeling motivated. I wasn't feeling excited. And I really just wanted to sit on the couch all day. But I decided that I was gonna go to the park and train anyway. And that's what life is all about. Don't wait until you feel like something to do it. You've gotta just do it and the feelings follow. Feelings all Always follow after you take the action. Take action even though you don't feel like it. A lot of people wake up every morning and just check how they're feeling. How do I feel? I don't really feel like working out so I'm not going to. Who's in charge? You or your feelings? Don't live based on your feelings. You're the captain of your life. You're the boss. You decide what you're gonna do, not your emotions. So even though I didn't feel like training, I'm here. And guess what? Now that I'm here and that I'm warmed up, I'm excited. I feel ready, I feel motivated. And that's what life's all about. Feelings always follow the action. So take the action even though you don't feel like it and the feeling will follow. Trust me on that. So that's the message for today. Don't live based on your feelings. I didn't feel like working out today, but I'm here. I'm about to put in work. We're working on muscle ups. We're working on explosive pulling. We're working on explosive body weight movements and I'm gonna show you guys the warm-up I'm gonna show you guys the workout and it's gonna be awesome I hope you enjoy this video if you do hit the like button drop a comment down below I really hope you work hard you stay focused and you never quit check out the workout all right guys welcome to the workout first things first you always got to warm up especially on a cold day like this well cold to me listen do me a favor comment below the temperature where you live all right, if you think I'm a wimp and it's not cold, you're probably right. Let me know how cold it is where you live. So we jumped rope just to get the whole body warm for about five minutes and I was doing some hanging. And after that, I put the band on the bar and I actually want to talk to you guys about just the importance of using a band. So go ahead and check it out in the video. Just want to do a couple reps with the band, really focus on form, really focus on exploding. And man, the band, bands are a great tool, dude. If you wanna get more pull-ups, more explosive pull-ups, some of you guys can only do like five to 10 pull-ups and you do them really slow. Use the band, focus on doing them explosively, explode to the top. This is a pretty cheap tool and it's a worthy investment. So there you guys have it. I really credit my muscle-ups to uh, doing doing them with the band first. So I really was not able to do clean muscle-ups until I started practicing with the band. They really helped me a lot. First exercise in the workout, I did what I'm gonna call muscle-up triples. So that's three muscle ups. Now it's three dips at the top. One, two, three. And then I drop beneath the bar and I do three pull ups. Man, this was just so much fun. This is very calisthenics. This is very street workout, not as much Ninja Warrior. But uh, man, I just had so much fun doing this. And I really would love to be able to get some really, really clean muscle ups. My muscle ups are looking pretty good right now, but I want to get them perfect. So three muscle up triples to start the workout. A lot of people think you can't build muscle with calisthenics and my gosh, they're so wrong. Like these straight bar dips gave me a crazy pump in my chest. All the muscle I have, I basically built through calisthenics. I haven't lifted weights since before I got married. So it's been almost five years. Oh. Dang it. Frustrating. So after those muscle ups, I was feeling so good. I wanted to try some one arm chin ups, which was probably dumb. And here's why it's dumb. You got to start with your hardest exercise. I tell you guys that all the time. But uh, I really just felt like trying some, man. I didn't get any of those. My right hand looked pretty good. My left hand did not look great. But just threw those in there just so you guys could really see the whole workout. I tried some one arm chin ups right there after the muscle ups. You guys are looking at the typewriters right now. Basically, after those one-arm chin-up attempts, I wanted to do something that would kind of isolate one arm, so I was playing with some typewriters. And basically, I would just pull up to the top of the bar, try and go side to side, and then when I couldn't do any more, I would just lower down and try and do some pull-ups. Basically, I'm trying to do long endurance sets on the bar. So, hop up on the bar, stay up there as long as I can. Do some typewriters, do some negatives, and then just finish with some pull-ups. So, I did three sets of these typewriters. Not too structured, I didn't go for a specific amount, I would just hop up on the bar for three separate sets and just try to stay up there as long as I could doing back and forth typewriters, some negatives, some isometric holds that you guys just saw right there, and just some pull-ups in general, again, trying to spend a long time on the bar. All right, after I was done playing with these typewriters with these endurance sets, I went into three sets of five reps L-sit pull-ups. And man, I love L-sit pull-ups. Not only are they great for your core, but they make the pull-up so much more difficult. And I think honestly, it's just because of the leverage like it's just more difficult when most of your weight's in front of your body. But once I was tired and I couldn't hold the L-set anymore, you can see there, I would tuck my legs and then just rotate 
having just one out. So you'll see that better here from the side. One leg out, switch the other leg out, and that's a great progression if you can't do L-sit pull-ups, just trying one leg out, and then of course you can tuck both to make it even easier. Getting close to the end of this workout, I finished off with some ring rows, three sets of eight reps. I put three sets of eight. I think I may have done 10 on my first set, but I'm just gonna say three sets of eight to 10 reps. Try and get in that range if you wanna try this workout, but rows are great. You have to do horizontal pulling if you're doing a lot of vertical pulling. Don't forget that. So I did a lot of vertical in this workout, had to finish with some horizontal. Then I did some one arm chin up negatives. And uh, again, man, this workout was by feel. And so I'm not really not following a lot of the rules of basic strength training. I'm finishing up with a really hard workout, but I wanted to try and get the feel of doing some good slow negatives because I was frustrated. I did not successfully get any one arm chin ups. So I did two sets of negative, just two per arm, nothing crazy. After that, I did a set of chin ups just because I was feeling it today. I was going by feel and that's all right sometimes, man. If you're having fun while you work out, do whatever you gotta do. So finish up with 10 reps on chin-ups and that was the end of the workout. All right guys, that's a wrap. Thank you guys for watching the video. It was a good workout, I enjoyed it. I didn't get any of my one-arm pull-up attempts, which I know I did it after my muscle-ups, which um, that goes against what I tell you guys all the time, which is start with your hardest exercise and I did one-arm pull-up second, but this was kind of a weird workout. I was just kind of going by feel, so I had a fun workout. You can be sure that in the next video, I'm gonna start my workout with one arm chin up, so I'm gonna get a couple successful reps. I can feel it. So you guys make sure to stay tuned for my next video. Work hard, stay focused, never quit. Peace out.